Hey Savvy Shoppers and Warm Pot Moho Meal Makers. This is my ingredients lot for today. I'm going to be making a chilli and just using up some of the stuff. I don't have a chilli mix, so I'm going to put a bolognese and put some harissa with it. And there's jobs of good in. And just add in some stuff I've got. This is open in the fridge, so I'm going to whack that in there. And we're going to make a nice hearty chilli pot. As with all of my recipes, just use what you've got lying around the place, okay? So if you don't have a red wine stock pot, don't use one, it doesn't matter. Don't rush out and get them. I'm just pouring in there. I just kind of uh, added a bit of water to a couple of veg stock cubes. Obviously I'm making a veg one for you meat eaters out there. Do it with your meat, absolutely fine. I don't judge, I just don't choose to eat it myself. And uh, put that into the pot. I'm using my slow cooker but you can do this in a saucepan. All just goes in just the same, just leave it over a low heat. I'm adding in the bolognese mix now, and it's all gone lovely and lumpy, which is just, you know, the way things go. But it will, over time, you leave it long enough, it will, giving it a stir, it will even itself out. And if it doesn't, then just add a little bit of roulette to the food. In goes my tomato passata. Again, as I say, not essential, just was in the fridge, needs using up, so I might as well stick it in there. I'm just kind of giving everything a bit of a mix. I'm gonna turn this on from now. So I've just got a nice base. I'm gonna add a nice, generous helping of harissa paste so popping that in that'll give it a nice kick obviously you'll need to do some tasting make sure it's to how you like to eat yours first things first again just using whatever you've got at the cupboards I've always got chickpeas in, they're one of my go-to because they're a great source of protein. Some butter beans. Just draining them through a sieve just because I don't want all of this liquid in there. And adding in the kidney beans. Adding in my favourite, some sweet corn. And there it is, I mean, it's super simple. Mix it all up, give it a good old stir. all mixed in. I think it already looks pretty delicious, but let's just give it a taste. Okay, needs a bit more of the old harissa. Let's give it another, let's go half a spoonful. I'll just see. Mix that up. And then I will just leave this for the day cooking away simmering and when I get towards the time that I'm ready to eat I'm going to cook up some rice so we'll come back and we'll have a look at that in a moment so there we have it four bean chili because I didn't have five but again add in anything you've got absolutely anything and certainly if you want to put your mints in there whether it be vegan mints whether it be veggie mints whether it be meat mints you can add that in I would still put all this beautiful veg in there Fills it out, fills you up loads of protein. Really, really, really easy to make. Right, just doing a quick inspection. It's up a little bit high now, it's quite wet. So what I am gonna do is add just a handful of red lentils. These will thicken it up and they will also add a little bit of extra texture. Just putting that in and I'm just going to slow it down so I'm going to turn it down to low and just leave that for a little while longer. Tastes really good and I'm going to make my rice. I'll just pop that back on and leave that for about another hour or so. Pop the rice in the pan, bring it to the boil, turn it down, let it simmer until the rice is soft. Very easy. And then we will serve. So here's the rice. Just let all the water 
to soak in. I'm not going to mess with it too much because I don't want to break down the grains. And we're ready to go. Let's get serving. Now I feel in the element of honesty, I should let you know that I don't actually really like rice very much. So I'm going to add some couscous. And this is just real simple. Open a packet, pour on the boiling water. Give it a quick stir around just to make sure it's all covered. And just let that steep. And then once that's ready, I just mix it in with my chilli. So that's my preference. If I've got flatbreads, if I've got taco shells, then maybe I might do something different. Of course, you've always got that staple of rice or maybe mix it up, use a bit of pasta. Just don't get, you know, caught up in you have to have chilli and rice. You can have it with whatever you like. Right. There we have it. Sorry for the steam. I've added my couscous to my bowl. I'm just going to give this a bit of a stir around. Make sure those red lentils are cooked through, which they are. And then I'm going to add a couple of spoonfuls to my bowl. Delicious, nutritious, and most importantly, really, really cheap and affordable. Till next time, guys, eat well, eat healthy, eat cheaply.